Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about what's in my camera bag for 2023. Before we get into this video, leave a like and subscribe, comment if you want, uh, it helps me out a lot. Heck, it can even help you out a lot by being able to see them in my next videos. Get alerts even. Click the bell. So let's get right into it. First off, we got the Peter McKinnon Nomadic 25 liter backpack. Uh, it's the everyday carry backpack. And let me tell you, this thing is rugged. I ordered this and I was not expecting it to be this sturdy. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for an everyday camera bag, this is definitely the go-to. This thing is extremely rugged. It is water resistant. It'll stand up on its own, which I don't know why, but for me, that's just, yes. Um, it's got a massive opening without anything in it. I ordered the small cubes for it, so I've got a little bit more versatility with it that way. And yeah, let's just get right into what's in the bag. So first off, we've got the Mini 3 Pro, which you guys already know, in my very first video I ever made, I was flying that thing around, and it wasn't very good, but I've gotten a lot better since then. And yeah, so that's going in the first slot on the bottom right of the bag. Then we obviously need the controller for the drone, so that's gonna be getting in there. Uh, this controller is legendary. I, I love how it has the screen on it. I don't have to hook up my phone. That definitely was worth the additional price to get that remote RC right there. Um, then we've got extra batteries for the drone. Uh, you never know when you're going to need it for long periods of time. And I don't have that much equipment yet, so it's not like it's taking anything else's place. Then next to the extra batteries, we're going to be putting in the Aperture MC light. It's uh, just a little square light. And let me tell you, this thing is like the highest quality light I've ever seen for this small of a thing. I haven't got to use it that much yet. Uh, I've got it back here as the glow for this video. And so far I really like it. You can change the colors on it, make it any color you want. So we'll probably be using it for quite a bit of background. So that was all for the very first cube that we got in the bag. So next, um, we've got another small cube, and if you guys have seen Peter McKinnon's video, uh, he turns his sideways so he can access it from the top, which I thought was like, man, that's pretty crazy. So I decided to do that too. And it's pretty sweet being able to reach into the bag at any time, grab the camera. First off, on the left, we've got the PYG Tech tripod. It's got... Uh, like a little hook to hang up on the wall if you need to do that. And it uh, feels good in your hand. So, I don't know, I just like this one. And it also comes with a uh, Bluetooth remote that you can start recording or take photos with, which, I mean, that's just a plus. We've got the 50 millimeter 1.8 RF mount. Uh, just the 50 nifty in there. Um, you never know when you're going to need it, and it's so small, like it doesn't take up any space, so I threw that in there. Um, there's still quite a bit of camera gear that I'm planning on getting, so that I'll fill up this bag. Then in the same slot, we've got the Sennheiser MKE 400 mic, and that is on the camera right now. And you're listening to that, you've been listening to that the whole video. So that goes in there when I don't have it on the camera, it just has a little pouch that it came in and it just slides right in next to that tripod. Uh, it comes with a dead cat or whatever you want to call it. It just has a unique look compared to all the other shotgun mics that you have on cameras and I just like it a lot. So that's why I chose this one. It sounds good. And then in the middle slot, you know, we've obviously got the camera, the R6 Mark II with a 14 to 35 RF lens on it. It's the F4 lens. Uh, we'll be doing more with that in 2023, so we'll get into that in a later video. Um, but yeah, this setup's looking nice, and uh, that's what we're filming on right now for this video. The 14 to 35 is on right now, and I think it's uh, set at. Let's look. It's set at like 26 millimeters right now. 
Also on the top we got the Peak Design strap light up here. My girlfriend got that for me for Christmas and you know, you never want to drop a brand new camera so that's pretty sweet to have. Um, so going to the front pouches. In the bottom pouch I've got a variable ND filter and the microfiber cloth with it. So uh, I've got those in there. And then in the top pouch we've got the Nomadic SD card holder. Um, just to throw all our SD cards in. It's pretty rugged, just like the backpack. So far, uh, I've had no complaints with any of their stuff. So, And then in the back port of my bag, I've got the MacBook Pro that I have. Um, it's the 2018 model. I bought it at the end of freshman year. So. so yeah, that's about it for the camera bag. So stay tuned for the rest of 2023. I hope you guys liked this video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Um, tell me what's in your guys' camera bags if you have them. Uh, tell me what else I should add to my camera bag. Uh, there's still quite a bit of stuff that I'm trying to add. So see you in the next one. Peace.